Hey everybody, Dan and John here. Um, whenever I go on vacation, I always try to work out. Uh, most of the time, I only carry one or two things. I always go on vacation with my Red Contreras uh, glute loop, and then I do clamshells and then hip thrusts, and you probably don't need to see that. Uh, I also usually take a Perform Better mini band, black one, so I can do those uh, kind of fun little monster walks as much as I need. I see that most of the time. To be honest with you, one, I also tend to walk a lot more when I when I travel, just because of the realities of the work I do. But the best workouts I have usually are in my motel room, hotel room, uh, hip thrust, clamshell, uh, perfect push-ups. That's the push-ups where you come down the ground, you release your hands, put them back underneath, and pop back up. Uh, I can knock off a lot of clamshells and hip thrusts, and Really, for the perfect push-ups, you know, doing about a, set, a total of 25, five sets of five, a set of 10, whatever you get there is, is probably enough. But when I do travel uh, in my car, I always bring a kettlebell. And the one kettlebell I always bring is this one here, the 28 kilo. And there's only really one exercise I do on the road, and that's the clean and press. Now, and it's, and it's I mean, we all know the clean and press. So. Clean and press. And the reason I like to clean and press on the road is because I know that I can get that done. People are going to say, well, why don't you do goblin squats? Why don't you do Turkish gaps? Why don't you do swings? Why don't you do blah, blah, blah? Because I'm on vacation. I'm on the road. I'm at a conference. I'm working. If I can get in anywhere from 20 to 50 clean and presses, by the way, that'd be one arm. So 20 clean and presses here, 20 clean and presses here. That's going to be a pretty good little workout. Uh, I like the clean and press on the road. I'm good at it. I find it refreshing, and it makes a difference. 